Alright, this is IMAX Nation 1980 here, once again with my record collection. And I already went through all the artists that get their own section. Now, this is the classic rock section. And before I start, there's many genres in my record collection, different forms of rock. And some of the artists in here haven't been categorized yet. Like if you notice Alice Cooper, I might put that in the hard rock section of my collection. But right now I still have it assigned to the classic rock section. So there's a cup there's probably a lot of records in here that need to be reorganized and whatnot. So I'm gonna go through the ones I haven't organized yet that are in the classic rock section. Okay, starting off. Alice Cooper's Love It to Death. And I have two copies of this album. Killer. Another Alice Cooper album. Yeah, these might end up in the hard rock section of my collection. Not sure yet. I have to look up these artists and find out what official genre they're usually labeled under. Alright, school's out. Of course. It's not in the best of condition though, unfortunately. I like the way the sleeve is. As a desk. Yeah, you see it's not in the best of condition. It's kind of ripped up there. It's too bad. And here's the back of it. This is a carbon copy, except it has no sleeve. It's just in this Warner Brothers sleeve. Bachman Turner Overdrive. I think this is their... I think this is actually their debut album. It is. I don't have the second album, though, with Taking Care of Business on it. This is not fragile. Has Rollins on the highway and you ain't seen nothing yet. I think the title is a pun on the Yes album, Fragile. I could be wrong, though. And we got Four Wheel Drive. Billy Joel, Piano Man, his second album. I don't have a Cold Spring Harbor. I plan on getting the original one, not the 1983 remastered version. This is in the shrink wrap. I mean, it's open, but it's in the shrink wrap and it has the price sticker on it. All right, here's Billy Joel, Street Life Serenade. Sorry about that. Turnstiles, and it's got the shrink on it. This is a classic. The Stranger. It's got the shrink on it. This was his breakthrough album. There's another copy of it. And I have a lot of copies of 52nd Street. Four copies, isn't that crazy? Glass houses. Songs in the Attic. The Nylon Curtain. An Innocent Man. 
And that's my last Billy Joel album. Billy Squire, Don't Say No. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Self-titled album. I have two copies of this. Here's Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Greatest Hits. No sleeve for this one, unfortunately. Came that way. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Stranger in Town. Features um, big hit. Uh, still like that old time rock and roll. It's a classic. Another copy of that. Against the Wind. So Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. There's a classic right here, an important album. Boston. Very good debut album. Features classics like More Than a Feeling, Smokin', Peace of Mind, Rock and Roll Band, Four Play Long Time, all classics. It was a great debut album. Boz Skaggs. This is not his first album, but it was his first album after the Steve Miller Band. That's how he... He didn't start in the Steve Miller Band, but he was part of the Steve Miller Band. This is the early pressing with the, the gatefold. Later pressings did not have the gatefold. The album also features Dwayne Ullman. And there's Boss Skag's Silk Degrees, which was his biggest album, featuring Leto Shuffle and Lowdown. But the rest of the songs on here are great. I think Boss Skaggs is really underrated. He's a really good musician. Here's another copy of Silk Degrees, but it's not in that great condition. Here's um, Boss Skaggs again, but this was the re-release and remastered version. And it doesn't have a gatefold, it's just a regular sleeve. It's pretty interesting. And there's Middleman, which has never been opened, as you can see. And that's all my Boss Skaggs albums. Alright. More, more classic rock albums. Bruce Springsteen, Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Born to Run. Have a couple Springsteen albums, by the way. The River. It's a pretty big set. Nice thick cover. Sleeve. Born in the USA. Up next are a couple Brian Adams albums. Not a big fan of his, but I still like him. And since it, and since that box that had a lot of records that I got two years ago had all his records in it, I thought I'd add them to the collection. So this is uh, you want it, you got it. <clears throat> Cuts like a knife. Reckless. Into the Fire. Alright, here's some Cheap Trick albums. Dream Police. At Budokan. Alright, here are a couple Chicago albums. Um, I'm probably going to move these out of the classic rock section. I think I was going to put them in progressive rock or maybe jazz fusion. I'm not too sure yet. I'll have to look up 
like what real genre they're in because they've tried different styles. This is their first album, the Chicago Transit Authority. And back then they were actually called the Chicago Transit Authority. But they had to change their name due to a lawsuit from the actual Chicago Transit Authority. Or so I've read. I'll have to look at that again. You know, this one just simply says Chicago Transit Authority on the, la the label. This one, on the other hand, I think it's this... Oh, wait. Same exact thing, actually. I recall seeing a copy that said Chicago Transit Authority 1. And there's Chicago's... Um, Self-titled album after Chicago Transit Authority. Here's, um, I think this is Chicago, Chicago 10. And I think this is Chicago's greatest hits. Yep, I was right. China. Now, to be honest with you, I never even heard of this band until I got this album. It was part of a huge box of records that I got earlier this summer. Earlier in the summer, I mean, sorry. And I looked them up. I couldn't really find much info about them. All I found out was that they were some rock band from the 80s. I'll have to do a little more research. It was a nice addition to the collection, nonetheless. Different in Tilbrook. They're from Squeeze. Dire Straits. This is uh, sealed. Well, it's open, but it's got the shrink on it. It's got classic Sultan's A Swing on here. Brothers in Arms. I have two copies of this. It's a nice cover. Don McLean, American Pie. Of course, the title song was a huge hit. Best of the Doobies, the Doobie Brothers. They actually released a new album recently. Eagles, first album. Witchy Woman's my favorite on here. Here's another copy of it. Let's go through these quickly. Eagles, their greatest their greatest hits, 1971 to 1975. And this is actually, I think, one of the best-selling albums of all time. I could be wrong. Hotel California, another classic album right here. And The Long Run, the last studio album. So that was it. Stay tuned for more.